Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the course Abhyasaganam Level 1 in Karnataka Music. What is music? Music is a language of sounds which are melodious. Music is an arrangement of sounds organized in time comprising the most important elements of melody and rhythm. Music is both an art and a science. Sung in voice or played on an instrument it has a universal appeal and evokes emotions. It represents cultural aspects of a region and is an integral part of everyday life. Indian classical music is perhaps the oldest system of music in the world dating back to 2000 years before Christ. Music traces its origin to Samaveda and Vedas of ancient Hindus are at least 4,000 years old. Through the ages, several changes have taken place in the theory and practice of music. Termed as Shastriya Sangeetam, while the science of music stresses conformity, discipline and acoustic accuracy, the art of music allows the performer an immense freedom to improvise within the confines of the scientific aspects. Indian classical music is basically classified into two systems. Karnatak music prevalent in the southern states of India and Hindustani music prevalent in the northern states of India. This bifurcation of Hindustani and Karnatak came into existence around the 13th, 14th centuries. Since classical music is structured in a scientific manner, the approach for learning is also systematized and one has to concentrate and attain a certain level of perfection before becoming an accomplished performer. The foundation for a systematic learning of music has been laid by Sangeeta Pitamaha Purandaradasa, a prolific composer of the 15th-16th centuries. The 17th and 18th centuries can be considered as a golden age for Karnataka music as some of the most important developments in both Lakshana, the theory and Lakshya, the practical aspects took place during this period. Through all these changes, the learning and teaching processes have also changed over the years, giving way to an institutional system. The basic concepts of music are Shruti and Laya, which are the melody and rhythm. In order to learn music, a student has to first train and tune the voice and the mind. Since music is learnt through the medium of hearing, the ear needs to be trained for precision in hearing the notes and reproducing the sounds that are heard in perfect Shruti and Laya. The different stages of learning Karnataka music are classified as Abhyasaganam and Sabhaganam. Abhyasaganam comprises the basic lessons designed for the purpose of attaining technical skill in the art. And Abhyasaganam includes the basic Swara exercises that is the Sarali Swaras to Alankaras and simple musical forms like the Gitas, Swarapallavis, Swarajatis. Varnam is a musical form which acts as a bridge between Abhyasaganam and Sabhaganam. Sabhaganam comprises the advanced lessons designed for the purpose of performance in concerts. Sabhaganam includes musical forms like Kritis, Kirtanas, Padams, Javalis, Tillanas, etc. Shaped by all this musical learning and exposure to music, one can acquire expertise in Manodharma Sangeetam 
which is the creative music and this is presented within the confines of the musical grammar of ragas and talas. When we look at the learning process in a very structured way, it is important to remind ourselves that music, the language of sounds, is both an art and a science. As we all know, when we learn a language, we are first taught the alphabets and then small words using these alphabets. Then we go on to learn some phrases and sentences before learning to read, write and understand paragraphs. This is followed by short and long stories along with the rules of grammar before we learn the advanced literature and attempt to comprehend and write on our own to express our knowledge and ideas with creativity. In this process, vivid reading, listening and writing help in improving our creative skills. Similarly, the approach to learning the language of music has also been structured in a scientific manner. From learning the swaras, which are the alphabets of music, we proceed to the various swara exercises like sarali swaras, sthai swaras, which are the madhya, tara and mandra sthais, then the janta swaras, data swaras, alankaras and all these are the melodic phrases. We then proceed to learn gitams, which are simple songs with lyrics like the paragraphs, swarapallavis, the compositions consisting of only swaras and sometimes jatis, swarajatis, which are the compositions consisting of swara and sahitya. Varnams are the compositions portraying the melody of ragas with swara patterns and sahitya. These are taught along with the lakshana, that is the grammar of ragas and in various talas in which they have been composed similar to the short and long stories. We then learn musical forms like kritis, padams, javalis, kirtanas, ashtapadis, tarangams, tillanas and finally the student is ready to show his creative skills through manodharma sangeetam which includes the sections ragalapana, tanam, pallavi, Neravu and Swarakalpana. Listening to good music, concerts of stalwarts and reading various books on music will help in improving one's creative and analytical skills. Now let's see what these Swaras are and what their names are. Music is a universal language and like the alphabets of any language, a letter in music is swaram. It is defined as svato ranjayati srotra chittam sa swara uchyate, which means that which is able to please on its own accord. This is the swara. We have seven swaras called the sapta swaras, which are sharjam, rishabham, gandharam, madhyamam, Panchamam, Dhaivatam and Nishadam. We use short syllables to sing these swaras and they are respectively Sa, Ri, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da and Ni. Let's understand some technical terms before getting into the practical lessons. The source of music is a sound. So, nadam is a musical sound which is pleasing to the ear. Sruti is one of the basic elements of music and it is defined as shruyanta iti shruti. Shruti means that which is heard. Shruti is the sound which can be distinctly heard by the human ear. In music, it is the smallest audible sound which has a musical value as defined in 
ಶ್ರವಣ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಧ್ವನಿರೇವ ಶ್ರುತಿರ್ಭವೇತ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಯ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಯ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇನ್ಹೆರೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಂಪೋ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿನೋಟೆಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ತಾಳಂ ತಾಳಂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೆಜರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೈಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪೋ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆವರ್ತಂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ತಾಳ ಆರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೆಜರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಸ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಅಂಗಾಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಅ ತಾಳ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅ ಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ರೇಂಜ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸ್ವರಗತ ಸ್ಥಾನಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಚ್ ಸ್ಥಾಯಿಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಅನುಮಂದ್ರ ಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಮಂದ್ರ ಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಮಧ್ಯಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ತಾರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅತಿತಾರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಚ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸೀ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಇಲಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಮಧ್ಯಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತಾರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ವರಸ್ ಸಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಪಿಚ್ ಅತಿತಾರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ತಾರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಂದ್ರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೋವರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸ್ವರಸ್ ಅನುಮಂದ್ರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಈಸ್ ಲೋವರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಮಂದ್ರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ನಾವು ಆರೋಹಣ ಅ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಸಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆರೋಹಣ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಚ್ ಅ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಸಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅವರೋಹಣ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತಾಳಂ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತಾಳಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸಶಬ್ದ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಿಶಬ್ದ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಬೀಟ್ ನೋನ್ ಎಸ್ ಘಾತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಸ್ನ್ಯಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಶಬ್ದ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೇವಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿಸರ್ಜಿತ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನಿಶಬ್ದ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ವಿ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ತಾಳಾಂಗಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಂಟ್ ಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ತಾಳಂ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತಾಳಾಂಗಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅನುದ್ರತಂ is the first talanga and it has only one kriya it is done with a beat that is the ghata dritam dritam has two kriyas and they are a ghata and a visarjita that is a beat followed by a waving of the hand laghu laghu begins with a ghata and is followed by a count of fingers the count is based on the number determined by its five jatis the other three less used talangas are guru which has eight kriyas and plutam which has 12 kriyas and kakapadam which is an absolute nishabda anga and has 16 kriyas